Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. Okay guys, so we're going to kick off the journal series today. We're going to start making some ephemera. These are just my Edith Holden book pages that I've got for my ephemera. I think these are all double pages, so I don't really want to cut into them yet unless we have to and I'm just going to make some little inserts let's just put that down on my desk and then I've got it for gluing all they are it's just a little piece of card got a circle punch out you know from my punch there it just flips open and I'm going to put a pocket there and a pocket there and then just little inserts just to pop in into your journal so I've made these, I'm just making use of these greetings cards, I think they measure, bear with me a second, let's have a look what I think they're 4 by 6, 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half, so let's have a look, so if you, want, if you wanted to do the same, you don't have to, you just need to cut a, a rectangle, 8 and a half by five and three quarters if you want to do them the same size as me that's what it measures when it's open I'm just making use of these greetings cards because I've got tons of them so all as I've done that was just a little protocol just to see how to fold it so there's my greetings card open all as I've done is I folded this corner this edge in just over probably about an inch and then just folded that one over to meet it and then we're going to put something on the front there a circle you know to stop it uh, to keep it closed and the same with that one just folded it over and then it's going to just fasten like that so I only want to make two because I'd only put one in each insert right so let's have a look for some backing papers let's just get some nice I'm going to use text I think on the back so I'm thinking, um, do I want to put text on the inside and maybe an image on the front, do I? Or do I want to put text all over and some fussy cuts? I can't make my mind up. Let's just have a look for some nice, that's a nice text page. That's a nice text page. a nice text page just looking that's got what which have got the most text on um, I don't know whether I want the nature notes or the country diary right I think we'll get them out for now let's have a look at them so let's do the first one so I think on the front I want to use this it's just the index from the Country Diary book. So what I want to do first is just rip around my edges. Yeah, so we're just going to take our time making plenty of nice ephemera to go in the journal. Um, yeah, just a nice slow project, nothing to rush for. So I am making a commission journal off camera that I've just started so I'm working quite hard with that at the moment so I haven't got much much spare time for myself at the moment so right and let's just take this bit off the top yeah I'm working on a commission journal somebody's asked me to make for them at the moment so I need to concentrate on that now I've not decided what colour ink I want to use I was thinking, I do like my vintage photo because I do want it slightly grungy or do I want, uh, what's the other one called, I'm not antique linen, there's my vintage photo, is it tea dye, brush colour dry, I don't know where, yeah let's have a look at the tea dye and I've got old paper as well, I can't decide which one I want to use with this journal because like I said it's the first one I've made let's just get a piece of scrap paper um, oh just a piece let's just use one of these book pages and let's just ink over and have a look what these colours are like that's old paper quite like that one I know I'm using the same brush but 
fluffy die yeah i like that one as well and i know what vintage photo looks like so let's have a look which one i think i think i'm going to go with the tea die i might mix it up i might not just stick to the one ink all the way through the journal i don't know i might be i might mix it up a bit but we'll see we'll go with tea die for now so i want to rip a piece of paper to fit on here Let's just rip down that page a little bit. Where do I want it to? About there. I mean, I have got other papers. I'm, there's no saying I'm going to do all book pages. I'm not going to do them all book pages because I think it'd look a bit boring if I did every page in just book pages. Like I said, I've got some kits and that. Now, do I want to leave that June? I think I want to take it off but I think I'm going to put it back on if that makes any sense whatsoever. We'll take it off there. Right, let's ink around this. It's quite um, in-depth planning this isn't it? Um, working around these papers. Actually, I need to make sure it fits first, don't I? So let's just take some off the edge. Okay, so this is tea dye that I'm using. It's a Distress ink, not an oxide. Like I said, I will be introducing some inks and some watercolours, I think, further along the journal with the ephemera so let's have a look right let's put this on here and let's see what it looks like i mean i've got that crease there where the card base is but that doesn't bother me at all i just got so many greetings cards you know from when i was card making i thought so oh, let's just get some out and use them for ephemera they're just sat in a box taking up room valuable room that i need okay so there's that first piece let's just take that bit off I'm going to have to cut this bottom bit I know I've torn it but I won't be able to grab all of that little bit I don't think okay and let's just trim down the side here I was getting mixed up with the creases. I was going off this crease here, which is the like the card crease and not the one that I've measured. Right, so there's that front bit. God, that was hard work. <laughs> Let's just put a bit more in around the edge. Yeah, I think that tea dye will be okay, I think. Right, so that's that bit. So now I want a piece to go down here. Um, and I think I'm going to go with a piece of this for down here because I'll be able to rip it. I don't mind that the fonts are mixed, that's fine. Oh, it's really nice to get these books out. They've been sat on my shelf. Yeah, I've been hoarding. I will admit it, I have been hoarding. And it's very silly because I've got quite a few copies. I've picked a few up in charity shops lately. I've got one for 10 pence, as you know, in in one of our local charity shops. 10 bucks for a pound and there was a copy of Edith in there. So I, I've got no need to hoard them. So let's let's make a nice journal. No, I've no need to hoard them. I've only got one copy of the Nature Notes. I do keep looking for another copy of that, you know, when I can get the right price. Unless I'm lucky enough to pick up one at a charity shop. Or I'm hoping the car boot sales will be starting up again soon. And then we can get car booting. I love going there on a Sunday. You know, if it's a nice sunny morning. Oh, I do. I enjoy going there. Right, I'm going to cut that dune out, but I'm going to use my decal edge scissors. And I'm just going to stick it just at the top up there. Let's put a little bit of ink around it. 
Uh, where's my daughter gone? So how are we doing guys? Are we all okay? I hope so. I'm okay. Not being out for ages. Of my legs are just being horrible at the moment. They just don't want to work. I'm sick of having rubbish legs. I can't, my mobility is shocking. I can't get very far. Yeah, so I've not really been anywhere. Right, so there's that. Now I'm going to decide whether I want to stick that down on my page or whether I want it just as a standalone piece of ephemera. What do I want to do? I think I might stick it down to a page. Yes. Right, let's do this inside cover now. Um, I'm wondering whether to do... Well, the image wouldn't go right the way across anyway, so... Um, should we stick with paper? That wouldn't go right the way across. I can't decide what I want to do now on here. Do I want to just put three more strips of paper or do I want to put... Right, I think I'm going to put word, uh, text down each side and then... some paper in the middle let's just work pull let's just rip this where are we can't see where I need to rip it just before the the right not fit on there I need to take a little bit more off Okay, and let's just measure the length. Oh, it's quite fiddly this is, <laughs> we've been tearing paper to fit. Right, okay, so that piece is going to go on there. Don't mind that it's ripped a little bit there, and then we want another piece to go down here. That's not wide enough um, let's just have a look at the just looking for another oh we got that piece there oh here we are there's another piece just then I can keep it the same right let's get rid of these bits on the end first about making two guys I think we'll be struggling getting one done here quite fiddly can't see the end about there yeah I don't think we'll get them we might not even get this one the, the two finished I just want to make sure it fits nicely I'm going to save them little scraps because they might come in for collage. I've just dropped a piece on the floor. Just bend down and pick it up. Oh, right, okay. Let's put a little bit of ink around the edge of here. Let's just put my lid on my glue and then it doesn't all dry up. So what are we up to, guys? What are we working on? I know a few people have said they're going to make a journal alongside me and like I said in the other video it doesn't have to be Edith Holden get you whatever you want if you've not got kits your scrapbooks like your scrapbooking papers whatever you want you can join in okay right I better speed it up a little bit haven't I 15 minutes and I've not even finished one yet it's because I've got to sort of think about papers on here. It's not just like getting a blank piece of paper and sticking it on your project. You have to think about the orientation and yeah. OK, 
Okay, let's stick that down there. And then we want to put something in the middle. Is that it's not too far, is it? Like that. Yeah, like that. Let's just trim that little bit off the top. Right, what shall we do in the middle? Shall we do an image or should we do text? I think we'll do an image. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit of thinking involved with this journal, with papers and ephemera. I like that one. I wonder if to go for that one with the bird's nest in the middle of the page. Um, let me just rip that paper down. I'm going to save that little bit there because it's got, does it say, wild hyacinths, hedge sparrows nest. Let's just see if we can make this fit somehow. just be able to get that nest on if I take a, look. a little bit more off there. Let's just fold it over like that. I don't want it touching all the sides. Right, let's just rip down here. And then rip down here. We might just get that bird's nest image on the page. Now I was going to put little pockets in here <laughs> but I don't want to cover it up. don't want to cover it up. I might just put, um, oh I don't know, I might just leave it like that. I might just leave it as a little, oh I don't know. Or should we put, oh I don't know. I can't decide. Now I don't want to cover the beautiful papers up now. I've just spent half an hour chairing them. Um, what I could do is put a little scrappy notebook on that side. Maybe we could do that. That might be an idea. Right, let's stick this down. Right, you can sit in there. I've not put it right to the folds because I don't want it to catch, you know, when we're closing it. So yeah, I like that, like that. Now, should I put a little pocket here or should I put a scrappy notebook there? Um, I think I'm going to put a little scrappy notebook there. Let me just get some, um, see if I've got any scraps. don't know what that is. I don't think I've got many coffee dyed scraps. Oh, we've got some of this. Let's use some of this. Right, it's just lined paper that I bought from, where did I get this from? I think it was Sheen, Shade Sheen, however you say it. Right, let's just as well because I don't want them. I'm going to rip the top one. Right, let's, let's do that one. I'm not going to put a lot in because I'm conscious of bulk. Let's just rip another few pages. We might get two out of this one. It doesn't have to even be, they don't have to be straight. Just get some some papers. I put them like that, and then cut them in half, like 
like that and then just put it on there we've just got a little flippy notebook haven't we just out of scraps well not they weren't scraps I've cut them to make scraps so I think what I'm going to do is I've got my machine on my desk right guys I'm just going to stitch across my foot pedal gone I was hiding <laughs> I am going to leave threads I'm just going to cut it down a little bit so yeah just like that just them few little scrappy pieces there so now we want to put our circle on the front um, let's keep that paper separate we want to Put a punch a circle, just get rid of them. Well, I'm sorry, guys, it's took me so long to do that one. I really didn't think it would have took that long. Let's just cut down here, then I can punch a circle out. Let's just punch out a circle. Let's go at the top. Okay, so let's just put some ink around there. And I'm going to put a little butterfly on there in a minute. So where do we want it to? About there. Right, I'm going to use some little adhesive foam pads. I'm going to double it up so it gives it height so that my page will stay tucked underneath it. Hopefully. In hindsight it should do. Right, let's just put that, where do we want it to go? About there like that and then we can just push it out. Let's see if we've got a little dainty butterfly. Um, nope. Yeah, that one's big enough to go on there. How long have I been on guys? 26 minutes. I'll make a start on the other one. Sorry it's took me so long but like I said it was sorting the papers out to make sure they looked nice you know to make sure you could read them. Yeah like that we'll have that stuck onto a page. So we want to put something on here. Let's get my fussy cuts out. I haven't got tons of fussy cuts. These were left from a project I did oh last year. Um, so let's just have a look if any of these will fit. oh there we go straight away I'm not even going to question it I'm just going to put it on that was a stroke of luck wasn't it picking up the first one I put my hands on everywhere right okay so that is that let's put that back under there and then we've got June there I've got the you know the the kit that I bought from my porch prints the little words do I need to put any words on or do I not I don't think I do to be honest no I think I'm going to leave it like that right let's have a look at the second one just pop that up there a minute uh, where have you put the second one Alison? Right, okay. This was just a protocol but well, I'm going to use it because it saved me wasting another wasting another card. Right, we want papers for the front now. Let's just go with it. Let's just let's just put papers down. Let's just rip this. this side I'm trying to speed it up a little bit for you before 
falling asleep. Right, let's get some of that off the top there. Oh, we've got a little poem there. Oh, that's a poem as well, so it doesn't matter which one we use. Right, I think I need to try and do it just a little bit more. Okay. Right, so that is for that bit at the front. So let's just ink around here. I'll do another, how long have I been on? I'll do another 10 minutes and then we'll stop after that because I don't want to keep you for ages. See where I get up to. It has took me a bit longer than anticipated but I'm sure I'll get faster once I get used to the papers. I've never worked with this book before. It's the first time working with it so yeah, it's new learning. going to stick on the front there like that. Where's that August? Let's stick that on again. And I think I'll do the same. I think I'll have it pinned onto a page, uh, glued down onto my page. So let's just trim off the side bits here. Just tidy it up a little bit. I think I'm going to have to cut rather than tearing. It's leaving funny edges. Might just tear the pages that that look okay. Right. So there's that bit. So we want papers on the inside now. Just put that in there. Right, another sheet of paper. Will that go in there? Yeah. Yeah, just like that. That'll be fine. I need to ink around the cards, really. God, I've gone very hot and warm in here. you down then. Too much glue. Let's put that in the bin. Okay, so there's that little bit and like I said, I don't mind that there's a little bit showing either side. I think I'm going to stick, some, well I'm going to put a little notebook on there anyway, aren't I? So, unless we put the notebook in the middle on this one, I think we'll do that. I think I'm going to put a flower on here or something. Let's just put something down this edge here. Uh, we've got another scrap of paper. Oh God, it's gone very warm in this room. I have to open the window. I love these pages. I love these end pages. You know the um, index thing. Yeah, I like these pages. So let's just get rid of that little bit down the side. Okay. Right, we only need a little tiny bit here. And I mean a little tiny bit. I'm just saving the little scraps with words on just in case I need it for any collage or anything. Ok, 
Okay, let's put this down. Right, let's stick that down there. piece of card doesn't want to stay. Right, there we go. So we want to put something on here now in the background. Um, I think I'm just going to do this one with the this paper and then put the little notebook on the top. That's what I'm going to do. Save that strip, it might come in handy. Let's do this one. Save that bit. Right, let's put some ink over here. enjoy doing them even though it was a bit faffy at the beginning trying to measure the papers and whatnot but yeah I've enjoyed making them put that in there like that right so I'm going to make a little scrappy notebook I'm going to use some coffee dyed paper for this one doesn't bother me, let's just cut it in half um, yeah I'm just going to stagger it a little bit I'm just going to take them pieces put them there in that piece and put it there right I'm just going to bring in my sewing machine and okay so I've stitched that in so that's that one. Oh, we need to put some paper on the back there uh, I'm going to leave the threads but I'm not going to leave them that long I'll just cut them down a little bit I've got a little dish that I'm putting all the threads in you know for when I come to make some clusters yeah so that little scrappy notebook uh, so we just want to put something on here where's that strip of paper gone that I've just had let's use this Let's just see if we can rip a tiny little bit off the edge. Yeah, that'll be okay, I think. Let's just put some ink along here. I inked this one, did I? Right, uh, where are we going? That way. Let's put this on here. Yeah, that'll be fine like that. Leave that there like that. And we want something down here. It's a little flower or something. Let's just have a look in these fussy cuts. I don't know whether I've got anything so small now. Uh, like I said, I might have to use, I can use some of my other wildflowers anyway. I've got, would that fit on there? Maybe that one. I've got other flowers. I don't have to use all Edith Holden flowers because it's not just an Edith Holden journal. It's a bit of everything. Spring, there we go. That one's nice. Spring, uh, nature, animals, Edith. Yeah, a bit of everything. So 
I don't just need to use everything Edith Holden, that wasn't the idea of my journal to just do solely Edith Holden, I wanted to do a bit of nature as well and flowers and yeah, you get the, I think you understand what I mean don't you, what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's stick that down there made for there wasn't it that little flower just fits nicely on there right we want a circle so where's my punch gone what did we use last time to punch I think it was this one wasn't it let's use this again circle okay let's put some ink around here Put my ink down that side there. Don't remember putting any ink down that side. Yeah, I want it a little bit grungy. I don't want it all pretty and perfect. That's not what my journals are like, as you know. Oh, I shall have to go and get a drink when I finish this. I'm really thirsty. Right, let's see where we want to put this then. About there. Yeah, it just fits under there then, doesn't it? Right, we want a butterfly to go on here. Right, let's have a look for a little butterfly. Uh, what colour should we have? We've got a nice yellow one there. Should we go with that one or do you think we need something a bit darker? What did we put on the other one? No, that one. Right, I do need to ink around this. Some of them I fussy cut right to the edges and some of them I left white borders but I think I'm just going to go around this and just fussy cut the edges because I don't want white on here. After I fussy cut about 100 butterflies I'd had enough, I got fed up so I just left white bits on some of them. Take me a second just to tidy it up, get rid of the white. There we go, that's better. Right, let's put a little bit of ink over the top of this butterfly. Well, that took a while, guys. It took a lot longer than what I was expecting it to take. It did, but I'm happy with the pieces that we've made. Nice start to the journal. I think we should put a flower here. Did I put one on that one? Oh, that no, I've got. Yeah, I'm going to put something here because I've got the. I put the image in that one, didn't I? Let's put something on there. Let's see what we've got. We've got a bird or anything. Oh, that's the wrong way. Poppies. Oh, we've got the bird's nest, but it'd be upside down. That's no good, is it? I think I'm going to fussy cut some birds. That's too big. That's winter. I don't want, well, it's autumn. I don't want horse chestnuts in my spring journal. I'll have to go through these and see which ones I can use. What about that? No. Right, let's have a look if I've got a bird, not an Edith Holden one. Let's just get my birds out. Let's see if we can find a little bird to go on there. Oh, too big. No, I don't want a woodpecker. What's that one? Yes, let's go with you, little bird, otherwise I'll be here all day faffing around. Right, let's just put some ink around the white. Okay. Make them fussy cuts. I'm going to go through them when I've 
tidying up and see which ones I'll use. I'm not keen on some of them to be honest. I wouldn't use them. I prefer my other flowers. Right, okay, let's stick that bird down there. Yeah, I think that looks nice now, doesn't it? I think that looks okay. Do I want to put a word on? I don't think so because I've got so much text there. I wonder if we should put a little word at the top of the notepad there. No, but I'll tell you what we will do. We'll stamp. We'll do a little stamp. I've got some butterflies here. Uh, let's just use this tea dye. Butterfly there and a butterfly there and let's just do one on this one I love these peg stamps I know I say it all the time but I do just for tiny little accent stamping like that they're absolutely fantastic okay again guys so I'm sorry it's took so long nearly 50 minutes I'll try and edit a little bit of it out if I can where there was you know where I was sewing in that I'll try and edit that bit out so there we go there's our first pieces of ephemera made for the journal Come on, that doesn't want to go back under there now, and then that one. So yeah, we've just got it open there, the little notebook, and I'm going to glue them onto a page, I think. If not, I can cover them, and then that just goes under there. So there's our first two pieces of ephemera, guys, should I zoom in a little bit? As always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch, and take care, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!